Hey guys, this is Jeannie, your selfie girl. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I have my cute little Easter egg egg thing and I have my giant white one. And I had a craving I'm working out for her, um, for deviled eggs. So this is what I'm making here. You put mustard, you just use like about a tablespoon of mustard. And then you use some good Hellman's real mayonnaise. Then you beat it. And when I'm in Scottsdale, I always go to this little thing place called, um, it's right next to Blanco's in Scottsdale and it's a sports bar, but it's a classy one. It's like Paul Mitchell's um, bar and I always get their hard boiled eggs because I love eating hard boiled eggs after a workout. But you wanna make sure it's not too yellow. If it's too yellow, you might not have put enough mayonnaise in it. You might have too much mustard. So you gotta stir it and beat it. Now I boil my eggs first and then I let them cool in cold water. And I let them cool while I made two chicken pot pies, so about an hour almost. And then after they cooled, I peeled them and I cut them in half the long way. Very gently popped out the yellow into here. And now I'm beating it with Hellman's mayonnaise and a little bit of French mustard. And the mustard's what gives it, besides the egg yolk, that yellow color. And contrary to popular belief, that we now know that egg yolks are good for you. So you can whip it with the beaters, but I like to just do it with a fork really good. Get all the lumps and bumps out. And if you do that and you whip it really good with your fork, because it's, it's better. Now at Paul Mitchell's Sports Bar, that I go to off in Scottsdale, off the <laughs> Scottsdale Road, they whip it. And that's why it's so soft with the consistency and looks so good, they whip it. But you just take it and you put a little bit into your egg like this. I'm gonna pop this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. So you put a little bit into your egg like this. And please subscribe to Jeannie Jones Selfie Girl and this is how you make deviled eggs. Just put a little bit in each one. Try to be as neat as you can. But trust me, people won't care because they just love deviled eggs, even if it's a little bit messy. And now there are little tools you can use, like tiny little butter knives to make it smoother. And you can even use a fluted like cake decorator to squeeze it through. And then it gives it a pretty little poofy top. So you can do that too but I'm just going to use my finger here and do it smooth like this. Okay, then when you're all done, and you've done all of them, I have another set. I, I made it more than 12 because we really like these. Then you take your paprika, and again, this is just plain old paprika, and you shake a little on each one. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And again, it was just mayonnaise, mustard, and I like it simple, and hard boiled eggs beat really good. And there you go, there's your little deviled eggs, and they're delicious. And you can chill them a little bit before you serve them. This is your selfie girl. Now let's take a look at my delicious chicken pot pies. If you haven't seen the video, here they are. Mmm, wow, this looks so good. Check out my video if you haven't seen it. It will be right before the deviled egg video and you will know how to make chicken pot pies. Let me see where go up here. Hi guys. So you see it, my delicious chicken pot pies and my deviled eggs. And this is the first day I've cooked and how long has it been since I've cooked? Just a little bit something could be burning. Yeah, so I better go. Bye guys, love you.